Hey everybody, I'm Tom DeBlass, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Black Belt, at 55 affiliate schools around the world. My main academy is in New Jersey. Pleasure to be here in Singapore. The thing is in Jiu-Jitsu, you have to have your timing. Right, like timing is impeccable. Man, the seminar's been amazing with uh, Professor Tom DeBlass. Uh, we traveled from Sydney, Australia to come for this at Evolve MMA. So, but it's been fantastic. We've learned some amazing half guard techniques. Um, some reversals, some attacks, some, some truck roll entries, and now we've been working on some different variations to guillotines, and now some different um, head arm triangle chokes. So it's been amazing. It's been absolutely phenomenal. That's always crazy to me when people fly from all over the world to come see me. You know, I, I, it happens in my academy often, and it's not something I ever get used to. I, I'm always mind blown. I'm very thankful. It's a very humbling experience. That's why, like, for me, no matter how tired I am, no matter how I feel like I better do well, I better be on, I better be awake, and I, and I better teach and serve the way they deserve to be served. Imagine if I came here today tired, energy low. Man, people flew from around the world to be with me. I better wake up and do what I'm supposed to do. And any question they have, I'm going to do my best to answer. My goal is to serve, right? So I'm here to serve them. And I hope that they feel like their flight and their time they took away from their family and their school was worth it. I thought the seminar was amazing, actually. Tom is incredibly insightful. I think he's got a sort of unbelievable, one-of-a-kind background and set of experience. Mikey is just obsessed with jiu-jitsu, so he was just, you know, trying to uh, ask any questions that he could possibly add to his game. He has, he's very humble in that aspect. He'll ask anybody, you know, Mikey is the best in the world. He's a champion. And here he is, you know, he's asking me different ways to finish a strangle and I did my best to relay my knowledge to him and, and me relaying knowledge to him, I learned what he was doing as well. And it's always a pleasure to be around him. So, you know, I've been doing jiu-jitsu for many years, but today I took away so many little nuggets because of just little hip movements, um, little frames that I haven't put into, that haven't been in my game. And um, I just felt like I was really privileged to be on the same mats as him. The turnout was good for some. It was a, a, a perfect mix of people, and no one got lost in translation. You know, like today, uh, I feel everybody really took everything that I said, and they're going to be able to apply it immediately to their game. I don't usually do no gi, but um, I think today really kind of like ignited the spark in me, and I really want to go back to no gi classes. How he coached was phenomenal because he breaks down things so so well. Bring your hands together. Now, as hard as you could, leave nothing. Push as hard as you could go. Hard. Do not pull anything back. And I guarantee every single person on there took something from me. I think he is like an encyclopedia of information. That man was incredible. Uh, this is the first seminar I taught in Singapore, and really have them understand me and me understand them, and get to know them in a different part of the world and connect with them and and share the knowledge that I know with them. So hopefully, you know, many years from now, they can still apply that to their game and say, hey, Tom, was, Tom showed me that. Honestly, it's the first time in about 13 or 14 years of jiu-jitsu, you meet like a hero as such, and they actually manage to fulfill what you thought in your head. Um, a lot of the times you don't quite get what you were expecting, but yeah, I got everything I was expecting. It was great. I think everybody did a wonderful job. I was actually very surprised at uh, how well some people took to some new concepts that I knew was beginning concepts for them that they haven't seen before. They really, really, really adjusted well to it. I think they're just very good students and they have open minds and they really listen well. Being a student, it's imperative to have an open mind and everything we think we know, leave at the door, have an open mind to receive new information and apply it to our game. Everybody did really, really well with that. And I think everybody went home today understanding actually every technique and concept that I taught. So, it's my third time at Singapore. Singapore has been amazing. It's uh, such a melting pot of different people, of diversity, and everybody's so kind and evolved, of course. This is the third Evolve now I've been to, and every time I'm just blown away. Hey, ooh, we got the Singapore. Thank you for everything involved. Yeah. Thank you for having us here. Uh, Singapore, awesome country. Yeah. Hopefully it's not last time. Appreciate it. So, thank you so much, Professor Tom, and Evolve MMA. It's been wonderful. Thank you, Evolve. It's been outstanding. I love your facilities. Amazing. Thank you so much to Chatri and Evolve for having me. I had a wonderful time. So thankful for you, and I know this will not be the last time that I'm here. Thank you. Evolve!